second part of our explanation of logistic regression for classification in particular to do binary classification we mentioned before that uh, this is the second algorithm we explain which is based on the covariance matrix we explained before the ones based on frequency table and next time we'll be explaining the one which is based on similarity function which is the, the k nearest neighbor so we mentioned that we need to be familiar with linear regression and we gave some sort of overview of the uh, logistic, regression, logistic regression and how it works now please go back and watch the last video for in order for you know what's going to be explained now to make sense now um, we stopped here last time and now we're going to sort of uh, learn how to uh, sort of you know assess or judge or indicate the adequacy the adequacy of a regression a regression model usually the pseudo r squared is used so pseudo r squared the value of the pseudo r squared is uh, sort of you know used to indicate the adequacy uh, of the regression model the likelihood ratio test is a test of the significance of the difference between the likelihood ratio of the baseline model minus the likelihood ratio of a reduced model. This difference is called the model chi-square. Now, if you don't know what chi-square is, I do have a tutorial called uh, a tutorial series called uh, Data Exploration and Analysis. In there, I explain what chi-square. Is. of course the material again is based on Professor Syed's material uh, world test a world test is used to test the statistical significance of each coefficient in the model so here we're trying to uh, sort of test the significance or the predictors contribution how much contribution do we get from the predictors or from the variables themselves from independent variables the X's yes for, for each B for the coefficient you know statistical significance of each coefficient B in the model which is related to the uh, predictors themselves now so do R squared there are several measures intended to mimic the R squared analysis to evaluate the goodness of fit of logistic models but they cannot be interpreted as one would interpret the R squared and different so do R squared can arrive at different, very different values. So there are some suggested methods, but they can, uh, 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 they can sort of arrive, as we mentioned, at different values. We can get different results. But here we have three sort of R squared measures. The first one is Efron's method or Efron's formula. R squared equals one minus uh, those uh, sum of squares, as you can see. Uh, uh, over this one here. So yi minus pi, yi is the predicted value whereas pi is the logistic model predicted probability. So the model residuals r squared summed and divided by the total variability in the dependent, in the dependent variable. So here is yi is the dependent variable minus pi the probability there squared um, over yi minus y bar. y bar is the average or the uh, mean of the values of y 1 minus uh, that value as you can see hope that makes sense that's one way of computing r squared the other way McFadden's formula is r squared equals 1 minus the uh, log likelihood of the full model over the log likelihood of the uh, intercept model so the ratio of the log likelihoods suggests uh, the level of improvement over the intercept model offered by the full model or we can have the count which r squared equals number of correct over the total count so the number of corrects correctly predicted I'm sorry number of records correctly predicted so these are the numbers of ones which are predicted correctly given a cutoff point of maybe 0.5 divided by the total count of cases this is equal to the accuracy of a classification model if you remember the accuracy when we have accounts of true positives true negatives false positives and four negatives and we can put the accuracy if you're not familiar with this then please go back and watch my tutorial on model evaluation in there I explain uh, what a confusion matrix is for binary classifiers and we show how to compute the accuracy this is very similar to that now the log likely I'm sorry the likelihood ratio test 
what it does, it provides a way for comparing the likelihood of the data under one model, maybe the full model, against the likelihood of the data under another model, maybe a more restricted model, i.e. the intercept model. Here we have the log likelihood equals the sum of yi, not natural logarithm, of pi plus 1 minus yi times natural logarithm of 1 minus pi. P here is the uh, probability, the logistic model predicted probability. So the probability predicted by the logistic model and y is the outcome or the predicted value. So we have the probability and the predicted value. We sum over all the values and we get the uh, um, likelihood ratio test. Now the next step is to calculate the difference between the two log likelihoods. Log likelihood 1 minus log likelihood 2 and we multiply that by 2. Why do we multiply by 2? That's in order to be assessed for statistical significance using the standard significance levels, maybe the chi-squared test again. In my tutorial, data exploration and analysis, in there I explained how the chi-squared test works. So that's just to sort of uh, uh, get that be assessed by chi-squared for statistical significance. The degrees of freedom for the test will equal the difference in the number of parameters being estimated under the models maybe you know the full model and the intercept model unfortunately i don't have an example here for things to make more sense but hopefully things here are not too difficult to understand the wall test is used to evaluate the statistical significance of each coefficient coefficient in the model so now we are sort of assessing the predictor contribution wj equals bj over se of bj where w now is the wall statistic with a normal distribution maybe it's just similar to the z test again i explain what a z test and a t test is in my uh, tutorial for data exploration and analysis b now is the coefficient and se is the standard error standard error the w value is then squared yielding a wall statistic with a chi-square distribution and we get that so we just square that and we get that value now to get the predictor contribution predictors which are our variables now our independent variables the wall test is usually used to assess the significance of prediction of each predictor another indicator of contribution of a predictor is exp the exponent to be or the odds ratio of coefficient which is the amount the logit changes or the log odds changes with a one unit change in the predictor x so the if the predictor changes by one unit x the x variable changes by one unit how much change do we get in the logit uh, um, or the log odds how much change do we get in there i hope this makes sense again unfortunately we don't have an example for things to make sense but hopefully this will be a way for you to get your head around logistic regression now if you use for example weka uh, for some data mining then in there you can have logistic regression and you can configure configure weka to output predictions and you can see that for yourself you can see the probabilities of the output in there so for things to make sense again instead of having the actual value predicted as we uh, do in normal linear regression remember just one last thing that usually this is used logistic regression is usually used for binary classification so we have two values true or false right or wrong plus one minus one and things like that i'm going to stop here thanks again for watching and in the next video i'll be explaining uh, the K nearest neighbor classifier, which is based on uh, uh, similarity functions. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.